Okay, hello everyone. I hope everybody is okay after your academic break. So, this will be your next exercise. And your first uh, exercise on this midterm. Okay, so we have nitrogen status in rice. Now, um, the objective of this uh, exercise is the student should be able to determine and understand the importance and effect of nitrogen application to rice. Okay, so nitrogen is an essential nutrient for plant growth, development, and reproduction. So despite uh, nitrogen being one of the most abundant elements on earth, diba, uh, nitrogen is 78% uh, in the atmosphere. Nitrogen deficiency still is probably the most common nutritional problem affecting plants worldwide. Kasi macronutrient ito eh, tapos kapag naging deficient siya, then um, ano mangyayari sa plant? Of course, it will uh, show symptoms of nutrient deficiency. Okay, kung ano man ang uh, nutrient deficiency na dinudulot ng nitrogen, if it is deficient, then those will be um, manifested by plants. So, nitrogen from the atmosphere and earth's crust uh, is uh, there, so present siya, no, in there, in the earth and in the atmosphere, but it is not directly available to plants. That is why uh, fertilizer application is necessary. Okay, so um, now nitrogen in rice production. So we all know that nitrogen is very crucial when it comes to rice production. Kasi rice production, ang kanyang fertilizer recommendation is uh, very high when it comes to nitrogen. Diba? Pag wet season, uh, you need to apply 120, 60, 60 or 120 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare. Tapos kapag dry season naman, you need to apply 90 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare. Okay. So, um, um, nitrogen is, uh, as we have said, essential and it is applied into two splits. Okay. Bakit two splits siya? Kasi, um, a previous research have shown that the application of nitrogen fertilizers on rice is best either at the okay, pre-flooding stage and during panicle initiation stage. Okay, so that is uh, by Williams, the year 2001. Now, the split nitrogen strategy aims to okay, maximize rice field yield and minimize the risk of over-fertilization. Okay, and with that, uh, it is to meet the nitrogen requirements of the two stages uh, during, crop product, uh, during crop development. Now, crop yields are highly responsive uh, to both treatments of nitrogen fertilizers. Okay, nitrogen applied at uh, um, pre-flooding stage is essential for growth of the rice plants. For us, nitrogen applied at the um, panicle initiation stage is critical for healthy grain formation. Okay, so um, therefore, fertilizers fertilizers should be applied at the proper time to minimize the loss of uh, nutrients, particularly nitrogen, and to maintain adequate supply of uh, fertilizer nutrients when plants need them most to ensure profitable yield. Okay? So, um, okay, so, um, ano to? Um, we have the different growth phases and stages of uh, rice plant. So, I am not very familiar with rice, no? Pero, um, okay, whoever sa inyo ang uh, nagpo-produce ng rice dito, I hope that, uh, I think mas magaling kayo pagdating dito, no? But this research, yung uh, split application, and then yung mga fertilizer recommendation, um, those are um, 
based on the researches uh, that were done previously, most especially done by IRI, yung International Rice Research Institute. And that is international yan, ha? Hindi lang yan sa Pilipinas. Yung base lang nila is dito sa Pilipinas. Okay? So, you know, um, so these are the growth phases and stages, no? So, from seedling, di ba? Magpapa seedling ka muna. And then, after that, um, itra-transplant mo. But for some, ang ginagawa nila kasi, um, sinasabog na nila, okay? Para walang transplanting. Pero most kasi ang ginagawa is may transplanting na nangyayari. So, after transplanting, yeah, so this is the vegetative phase, no? So, we have here growth stages and then yung duration kung ilang days. So, here, um, during that, uh, in between trans, in between, ano to? Okay. Not in between pala. So, this is the vegetative stage. So, with this, within this vegetative stage, and we have here yung maximum tiller number. So, yung tiller na ito is yung ganyan, yung isang ganyan. So, meaning, mga ilang ganito kaya ang um, na-reach niya dito banda. So, pag maximum tiller number, that means hindi na siya madadagdagan. So, um, ang mangyayari na lang is mag-grow na lang siya and then mag- form ng seed or yung panicle formation until okay so the more tiller na merong meron yung isang rice from one rice na yon the more na the more yung maha-harvest mong of um ano to huh? seeds of course ng rice okay so yon so yung maximum tiller number is located here and this maximum tiller number, this is the stage of that pre-flooding stage. And that is around mga, um, 20, according to Iri, no, 24 to 30 days. So therefore, yung split application na yun, yung first application is mangyayari af uh, after 24 to 30 days. And that is um, from transplanting. Okay, so from transplanting, uh, 24 to 30 days, magka-count ka na lang. That would be yung pre-stage um, pre stage mo. Okay, doon ka mag apply ng uh, fertilizer. Okay, and that is during the maximum tiller number. Bakit? Kasi nga, doon yung mag-growth. Okay, doon mangyayari yung growth ng um, rice plant. Now, yung second application mo, kasi split siya, no? Okay? In-split mo, ba? In-split mo yung application ng fertilizer mo. Hindi mo siya ginawa at once. Okay? So, yung second na application mo ng fertilizer would happen um, usually ang uh, most of the variety of rice ay umabot lang sila ng mga 100 days, ba? Mga 3 months. So, ang, mga, ang sabi kasi doon, 60 days um before harvesting, you should apply uh, the uh, second fertilizer. Okay? Kasi that would be yung stage ng panicle, forma panicle formation or yung panicle initiation. Okay? And that is mga around um, 40 days after transplanting. So, di ba? 100 days uh, from... Uh, mag-hardvest ka after 100 days. So, mag-minus ka ng 60. So, 100 minus 60 is equal to 40 days, no? So, now yung 40 days na yun, that is 40 days after transplanting. So, therefore, after 40 days, after um, 40 days after transplanting, doon ka mag-apply ng second um, application mo ng fertilizer. Okay, and that is during the panicle initiation. So, again, until magmature siya and then you can harvest. So, ayun, um, I will be attaching also a YouTube video done by Iri uh, themselves. Uh, refer there kasi mas na-explain din doon no, in Tagalog pa yun. Okay? And, you know, ang uh, kon pala, ang dry season... So, kapag sa data ng Philippines, no, ang dry season, it uh, 
will start at September, ay, it will start on September 16 to March 15. So, ang wet season, it will start from March 16 to September 15. Okay, so now for your assessment, no? Um, do this study question. Okay, isa lang actually itong study question. What is the principle underlying the placement of ammonium or any nitrogen fertilizer within the reduce, reducing zone or oxygen free of paddy soil? So, meaning within dito, banda, or nung nandun yung water. Kasi kapag may water, of course, that is, uh, the soil is saturated with water, meaning wala ng space for oxygen. So, that is the reduced zone. We call it the reduced zone. Okay, so I have also attached. Uh, so, inilagay ko doon sa GCR ninyo yung um, additional website where you can gather information when it comes to this question. So, nandun magbasa lang kayo, okay? Para hindi kong ano-ano. But, of course, you can research for another uh, reference. Okay. Next is, I have added an additional quiz. Okay? And ito lang, yung mga questions na ito, this is based dito sa discussion mismo and doon sa YouTube na Shinerko that is uh, done by Iri. So, yun ito. Uh, in a, uh, I will... Inattach ko din doon sa GCR. So, please uh, just look. So, check. So, that's it. And thank you very much. Very short lang itong exercise number 6. So, please do it accordingly. Doon sa assessment pala, study question, please uh, do not copy-paste, understand the question. And then, um, yung answer, wag masyadong mahaba ha. Okay? Make it short but precise. Okay? So, yun. Thank you very much again. God bless and goodbye.